Question from Zoran. So we all enjoy in our everyday work of developing Power Apps, Flows, Forms. We try to control them and make them useful. But at the same time, we have other colleagues in the company which can do the same. And now comes the question. How can we limit what apps will be available on mobile phone, where we use Power Apps application for Android or iOS? To have a way to make something like a whitelist of the apps which will be available there and block other apps which should not be there. I cannot play with security as there are apps that have to be available to everyone, but not necessarily on mobile phone as they are designed specifically to be inside, mm -hmm. uh, used inside the SharePoint page. Uh, very interesting question, Zorn. And uh, it's great to hear that the organization is uh, doing a lot of uh, innovative things with the Power Platform, and that's what it's there for. But I think inevitably what happens is an organization will start to to use that platform and the tools therein to start building up these solutions. And as it starts to grow, it sounds like there might be a need for some governance. Yeah, now, uh, it's a huge topic. I know yes. within governance within power platform, it's a question we hear a lot. And you know, even an organization that has you know spent years of working out governance for SharePoint and then Teams could still be kind of stymied by this new Power Apps and people going and citizen developers and building mm -hmm. things without them being aware. And so it's it's an important question that just that organizations need to discuss, handle sooner rather than later. That's right. And you know, governance shouldn't always be uh, seen as a bad thing. It's not about control it's about safeguards and so making sure you have the right levels of adoption and the right uh, uh, areas that can provide uh, subject matter expertise around those things as they start to grow throughout the organization outside of that traditional IT you're going to need some type of tool uh, or some type of uh, uh, platform if you will to uh, to see what's happening with all of those different power platform activities. And so luckily, we have the uh, the center of center of excellence uh, starter kit or the COE starter kit available to all organizations that are using uh, uh, power platform. And it's a collection of, of uh, power platform apps, uh, flows that will go out and harvest uh, all of the apps flows and other types of entries that exist, put them into a single pane of glass where you can view things to understand where it's used, the types of uh, components that are used there and, uh, you know, premium standard, those types of things that you can start to uh, have a holistic view of what's happening in the organization with Power Platform, and then try and build those supports that will lead into a governance model that makes sense for the organization. So again, it's the Microsoft COE starter kit, and that's probably where you want to start with. Uh, there's a bit of work there, and it'll help you not just with the governments, but also with the adoption as well. You know, there's a lot of discussion around the COE, um, you know, out in, uh, so within the community, of course, um, uh, you know, so there's a lot of guidance, a lot of help, people sharing their stories, their experiences with it, and uh, additional guidance to extend that. I know mm -hmm. that there's also third-party ecosystem. There are other tools that go in and can do that kind of discovery process and pull even deeper information out of there. So just know that this is an area that there's a lot of work being done, a lot of discussion around. Uh, and so you definitely want to go plug into the community uh, to, to get more about how to get the most out of the COE.